right, just got home from work a little bit ago, and the heater on the 29 gallon nano had failed. Temperature was at 90 degrees. Right now you can see it's 86.4. I did a big water change on it just to get the temperature down. Try to get some of that mucus out of here that the corals are putting out. As you can see, they look horrible, especially that one right there. That Euphelia is really scaring me. But so far, I think stuff's gonna make it. We can see all the crap on that rock. And I don't know, fingers crossed. Fortunately or unfortunately, depending on your point of view, I had another one of these cobalt neotherm heaters laying around. So I put another cobalt neotherm in this tank. So at least I have a heater for tonight. And here's the heater that failed. It's another one of the cobalt neotherms. Um, it, re it was reading a temperature of 66, even though the temperature in the tank was 90. And it was set at 78. So clearly the thermostat inside of it failed. Welcome to Mile High Reefers. I'm Scott Anderson and that footage was all shot about a week ago. And I'm sad to say I lost my bird's nest, I lost my yellow hammer, I lost all my A cans, and I've still got a few that I'm pretty worried about. My Monipora Setosa, while it looks super bright and amazing, it is in really bad shape and I hope it pulls through. My grafted cap, it's in really bad shape and I hope it pulls through. I've got a couple of Darth Maul Zoas left that might make it, but odds are they won't. And the Halle Berries are there, but uh, they're not looking good either, but I think they will pull through. So it's really disappointing that this happened and it was all because of a bad heater. Now this is the Cobalt Neotherm that died on me and it died because the internal thermostat wasn't reading correctly. It went bad. It was reading the lowest possible temperature, so it just kept heating up and it crashed my tank. Now, I'm not here to talk too much crap about the Cobalt Neotherm heaters. Unfortunately, the problem with heaters is they can fail on, and as far as I know, every brand out there has the potential for them to fail in the on position. So I'm not here to rag on the Cobalt Neotherm heater, but this is what happened to me. So this tank is struggling at this point. I had a massive diatom outbreak afterwards. I've had a big algae explosion. The really good thing that's happened though is I didn't have any fish in this tank, so I didn't kill any fish. And the coral has survived better than one might think. Other than a few zoas and some LPS, it actually did pretty good. Some of the stuff that I didn't think would make it like the Montes and the Acro are pulling through. So it's gonna take a little while for this tank to recover and it's just going to take time. So patience here is gonna be critical. Unfortunately, sometimes life kicks you when you're down. So if you remember my last update I made, I lost my purple tang. That was really sad. Well, last weekend I got up and I lost my hybrid black tang and my yellow eye coal tang really disappointing. These fish have been doing great together for about a year now. It really has been going pretty well, but something happened. I think they have a bacterial issue or they have some sort of internal parasites. So the six remaining tangs, basically all the fish in the tank, I am now treating with medication. And we'll talk more about that kind of treatment stuff later. The good news is the coral are all doing really well. It's a fish problem and specifically a tang problem. So I got away with having too many tangs in my tank for about a year and I'm probably paying the price now. So it's sad and I've made mistakes. Going forwards, I'll probably do less tangs in the tank and have a little more diversity. But in the short term, I'm not adding any more fish. I'm focusing on coral and treating the fish I have. Once everything's back to where it needs to be, then I can think about more fish. So yeah, this video has been a little bit on the depressing side, but as I've always promised you guys, I will share the good with the bad. You know what my favorite band is? The Blue Tank Clan. Thanks for watching this episode of Mount High Reefers. Like, comment, subscribe. See you on the next one. Peace.